This episode of Trips to the Store has been brought to you with the help of viewers like you. Transmissions wouldn't be the show it is today if it wasn't for all of your support. Join our Patreon today at transmissionspodcast.com slash support. Welcome to the Transmissions Trips to the Store, where we show off all the cool Transformer stuff we got this week. This video is part of our regular Transmissions Podcast. You can check that out at our website, transmissionspodcast.com. We do two shows every week. Every Wednesday is Transmissions, a show all about Transformers toys and merchandise. And Trips to the Store is a big part of that, so you can see us here. And then every Friday is Transmissions Alt Mode, which is all about Transformers comics and media. And this week we are reviewing Shattered Glass, issue number four. Four, so that is coming very soon. Yeah, Shattered glass weird, number yeah. four. <laughs> Jeremy was in charge of the read this week. <laughs> I hope he. I hope he did it. Yeah, that's the one I read, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Transmissions is powered by you. Thank you to everyone out there who supports us on Patreon and PayPal. We really appreciate it. And that your support helps keep the show going. And thank you for continuing to you know, trust us with your hard-earned cash. <laughs> uh, another way to help us out is to support us by buying some of our merchandise on TeePublic. That's at transmissionspodcast.com slash shop. If you use that link to access all of TeePublic stores, you can... Uh, help us out by buying anything from T Public through that link. So we've got cool merchandise. We've got transmission shirts. Daryl didn't Looks get them. Very out. cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he did. No, it, Mike did. We're get wearing the, the same shirt, different color. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're. I we're have not, a shirt we're... from T Public on underneath this. <laughs> 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 it's Transformers right. themed. We're not transmissions themed. <laughs> <laughs> We could uh, we could get um, uh, yeah all four of these same shirts and be an Andy Warhol painting. So you know, or Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you if you buy anything from T Public through our link, that helps us out. So just go to transmissionspodcast.com slash shop. All right. Well, let's uh, start off and show off the stuff we got. I'm gonna go first because I just got a single comic this week. Uh, and this is uh, Wreckers Treading Circuits, issue four, the final issue of the Wreckers miniseries that came out last year. So uh, we just reviewed issue three last week. So, um, you know, look forward to this in the near future. And this will wrap up the Wreckers, uh, the new Wreckers series. Um, overall, I was I was uh, happy with the with this series. Uh the ending was a bit of a downer. We'll talk about that in the review. Uh, not this week, but in the future at some point. But uh, yeah, it was cool. So there you go. This is the Jack Lawrence cover, the cover A. So, and featuring Aileron fighting back against uh, Octopunch there. All right. Well, let's uh, hand it over to Jeremy. What do you got? Uh, nothing new this week. Um, and actually, I just I was going through my a bin for some stuff and pulled this out, which I probably have shown years ago. But this is my RID two thousand one Cyburn still in the package. Um, I have, I believe, I have one out of the package somewhere. This is the the red recolor that they did. That um, I think he's normally blue, and mm -hmm. this was. I love these car brother molds. They're overly complicated in the transformation, but this was when they were moving from the beast, you know, beast transformers back into cars and stuff. And they were still figuring it out again. Um, but here's the back. Um, but these were, these were fun. The character was, was a blast on the show. So, um, when I got this he was he was a uh, he was horny for that sports car all the time, wasn't he? Yeah, he he had a thing for red sports cars, and eventually he turned into a red sports car. So I don't know what that says about the character. 
<laughs> but um, narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's a it's a cool figure, and you know, I was I was surprised when I was digging it out that I kept it on card. So that was cool. That's all I got do this week. You, do you know what kind of red sports car he turned into? Red sports car. <laughs> Starts the, with a V. It was my favorite red sports car, or my favorite sports car at the time that is the show aired. And it is a Viper. Yeah, it's a Dodge Viper. Yeah, I uh, I loved, I adored that car when it first I came out. When that car came out, it was a huge thing, and then there was the Viper show. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. I love that car. Nineteen ninety six Dodge Viper, first year it came out, blue with uh, white stripes. Did they do like a Knight Rider reboot with the as a Viper? He was a Ford I, Mustang. He was a Mustang. Mustang. Okay. Yeah. What they did do with the Viper was they put a they made a motorcycle with the the V10 Viper engine in it, and it was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, for what, what anyway. it's worth, this is not a Dodge licensed mold, so it's it might look like a Viper, but it's. Not exact. It's a wiper. Right. Yeah, it, it's a wiper. It comes wiper. to wiper windows. But that's all I got. All right, Mike, you're up. So I got a couple of things that I haven't shown off from uh, from Christmas yet. So I managed to get uh, this guy here. Uh, that is Generation Select Ricochet, based nice. off of the uh, Power of the Primes Jazz Mold. I didn't expect to ever have anything from like this mold, like ever, but it ended up being like in the last like four months, I've gotten like two figures in the same mold. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like the uh, the design. Uh, his legs are a little bit on the, the loose side, yeah. but you know, can you do? Uh, but yeah, overall though, really solid figure, really nice. So it's cool. I like it. Uh, also, I got a number of books over Christmas. So uh, the first two here, uh, IDW Phase 2, Volume 7, and Volume 10. So the, the big hardcovers with, the, with you know, the entire like completed collections within them. So I have uh, sets, I have 1, 2, and 3. Now I have 7 and 10. Now I just need to finish the other, what, 5, 6, <laughs> 7? Uh, 50 bucks a pop there you know they're not the easiest uh, purchase to justify yeah. um, but i do really love the uh, the hardcovers i love the the artwork on the on the on these books really good uh this one is a book from 2001 oh let me see if we get the glare off of this because it's a very shiny cover there we go uh this is prime targets this was a like a, a companion piece for uh it's supposed to be Beast Wars and Beast Machines, but looking through it, it's got like reviews and trivia and stuff on G1 and episodes G2, uh, American and UK comics and everything. And it's just it, it was one of those books that I hadn't I hadn't picked up in a like, since like it was just been on my Amazon list for the longest time. Uh, and someone finally picked it up for me this year. And uh, yeah, in sitting autograph. Yeah, it's a uh, an auto well, autographed copy, and there's an actual like autograph on the inside. Let's see if we can sort of see that. Yeah, there we go. That's really cool. Yeah, mm. I have that yeah. book. Do not have an autograph for it. Yeah, <laughs> not the autographed version, huh? No, <laughs> um, but yeah, I do. Like, I, 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 like... Sorry, I, do, I just I I do remember uh, one thing that kind of. Uh, irked me about this book is that it consistently refers to Ravage as a dog in there. So that that <laughs> well, annoyed don't, me. <laughs> don't forget, this was written back in like oh one, so this was not quite pre-internet, but you know, pretty you know, pretty close there. <laughs> Proto internet. Have, yeah, you didn't have a ton of message boards to correct you, yeah. which honestly, I can go without. <laughs> in two thousand one, I I can. There was at least three transformer message boards I was on. Plus I ran the chat. <laughs> so, you know, we Nerd. were around. We were around. 
Nerd! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the last one is the big one. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Transformers visual history book from uh, Jim Sorensen. I think you already got this one, Charles, when it first came out. Yeah, yeah, both me and uh, and Jeremy have it. I think I think oh, we Jeremy, got it because yeah, we we interviewed Jim for uh, for the book when it came out. Gotcha. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, it is easily the largest Transformers book I have. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm incorrect on that. It's not the biggest, like length and width, but it is the thickest. So yeah, it can be used <laughs> as a weapon. <laughs> it can be, yeah. That's what she said. Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to find some spot, uh, some space on my shelf for this one because this is a uh, a beefy, beefy book. I actually gonna have to find a different bookcase because the one I've been using for the Transformers books is a cheapo Target bookcase, and if I put too much weight on it, it will fall apart. So you need to I move don't... up to a cheapo IKEA. That's what I've been thinking about. <laughs> it's what I've been thinking about. That's, yeah. <laughs> all these are IKEA. Hey, as long as it'll hold the, the few like dozen pounds of books, I'll be happy with that. <laughs> all right. And that's all I got. Four books, a figure, and a new mission to complete the IDW collection. Back and a you. funeral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Daryl, uh, let's wrap it up and show us all the cool stuff you got. Before Daryl goes, I do have a correction. This is officially licensed. I did just notice there is a, a Dodge like logo on the bottom of this. So, so what you're saying is you, you lied Darryl to is, us. No, I'm you saying Daryl was correct. At, in misinformation. I'm trying to give Daryl credit. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl knows cars, I don't. Uh, yeah, I bought I bought the uh, the RID sideburn, the you blue one, viper? when when I when I saw that it was a viper, like I I was like I don't I never even saw the show, but I, I remember seeing the the viper transformer and I was like holy shit this is a viper figure I'm buying it and I bought it and I still have the one that I bought yeah it was uh, it was cool, um so for this week I uh, I have one figure that I. I kind of found again in my collection because I've been going through boxes over the last couple of weeks and I was like oh this one I forgot I had this and I you know and I have two new ones so uh, I'm gonna this is a um, this is a device label figure you remember device label oh. they were they were fun um, this is uh, I, I tweeted out a picture of this does anybody know my Twitter I, I put my Twitter uh, it's it's here <laughs> it's, it's right it's right here. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I put pictures up on the internet, and you can see what I have. Um, this is uh, this is device label Soundwave, and uh, and he's pretty awesome. Um, he he doesn't have anything that goes into his chest, but he he does have the ability to eject the uh, the chest open. Uh, that would be where you put the memory card, uh, because he is a working MP3 player. Um, and you can plug in a set of headphones into the top there. Um, and these buttons on his waist work. Um, so he transforms really, really well, and he looks exactly like you'd want him to look. Um, the headphones that he comes with, though, are odd. Um, they have this uh, Decepticon kind of extendo thing. Um, remember these things? You'd have to, you try to, <laughs> you have to extend the the cord. So, and these these headphones are really huge, mm. but it's because they transform into Rumble <laughs> and Frenzy. <laughs> Cute. So obviously, one's red, one's blue. Them. I, I Wait, don't think I've one, ever which? worn this. I don't know. <laughs> you, you you choose dealer's choice. Um, so yeah, they're they're quite fun, and uh, they do stand on their own. They have some significant heels for the for the feet to hold up the heavy <laughs> heavy backpacks on these guys. 
but it works. Everything works. It's great. That's the, the beauty of device label. And I kind of wish they'd still do it, but, uh, you know, have you tested it lately? They do they still work? Well, the funny thing is, is it's not a standard SD card that goes in Soundwave. Um, it's one of the just slightly smaller. And I have one. I had one for a camera, like a digital camera that I used to use. And I can't find it now. So, and I, I have, I have it somewhere in the house. And once I find it, it's taking, it's coming out of the camera and it's going into Soundwave just so I can, I can have it. Um, but. Yeah, it's, anyway. the the new figures I have uh, this week. I have to thank DJ Ronan because he he tipped me off as to where to find them. Uh, he had posted images that he had picked them up, and I was like, "Son of a bitch, where did you find these?" And he's he said, "They're down the street from you. You better go." And so I went. Uh, first up, uh, Kingdom Pipes. I got a Pipes, and he looks great, and he's awesome and fun, and just a, a great looking figure. Uh, with exactly the same mold as Huffer and, and just a little, a little tweak here, a little swap there. And then boom, it's the, it's the same figure, but you know, it, uh, it's, it's, it's pipes and he looks great. And, uh, they did a really good job with this mold. So, uh, so if you can track down a pipes, um, then uh, I think it's worth getting. He's, he's great. He's a, he's a great figure. Stands really well with these big old plates on his feet. <laughs> and then the last one, uh, is one that I was really hoping to find. Um, and uh, and I don't think he's going to stay in robot mode very long because nobody knows the robot mode on this guy. It's Slammer. Uh, I picked up a Slammer. And he's going to be transformed into his tank mode. And uh, and then I'm going uh, to just leave him up there with the rest of his crew. Um, six hmm. gun and... Uh, and the other guy, whatever his name is, I forget. Scamper. Uh, Scamper, yeah, that, that's the one. So, yeah, so these guys are great. Um, he uh, he does, you know, he comes apart pretty easily. You know, all his arms and stuff and all the, the backpack and all that whatnot, it all kind of comes off. He's a parts former or weaponizer, or I guess is what you're calling these guys now. But, uh, yeah, completely disassembleable. And, uh, yeah, but uh, great head sculpt on him. Not that you're really going to see it that much, but, uh, but yeah. How was the, like the color difference? I remember when we were talking about it a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, months ago, like I raised the concern that the, the, the white and the, the off white just kind of clashed a bit. How's that feel in person? How does it feel? How does um, it look? It, I mean, it feels fine. It, 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 it I mean, you How can does see it feel it. to your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little fuzzy. I can't really quite. See I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying here. There you go. There you go. So, the, I mean, the the beige is is kind of you know it's it's beige and then it it's it's a difference. Like, I mean, the white is pretty 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 bright. Um, the uh, yeah, my camera's mm. not great, but. It yeah, it's I mean it does it it is a contrast, but it works. The majority majority of them is this gray, gray beige, whatever you want to call it, but it, it works. I think it works. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna put him in tank mode and and kind of put him up top with the rest of his crew. But that's it. That's what I got this week. All right, and that will end our Trips to the Store segment. As always, we appreciate everyone uh, hanging out with us, and uh, if you'd like to support us on Transmissions, you can go to transmissionspodcast.com slash support. That's where you can sign up and become a Donatrion. Lots of cool perks. Uh, we just uh, started rolling out our uh, merchandise for our, our Patreon tiers, so that'll be coming out very soon. So, you know, if you're curious or interested, take a look. You can also uh, leave us some feedback by going to transmissionspodcast.com slash feedback. That's where you can leave us voicemails, emails, hit us up on social media, comment right below in this YouTube video if you like. Uh, all the good ways to get in touch. And we do like getting feedback and we do respond to feedback. So 
If you want to talk to us, go right ahead. You can also go to our Discord. That's a you know that the um that's another way to give us feedback too. That's on uh, transmissionspodcast.com slash discord. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching and listening this week, and we will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. Later. <laughs>